Well, the holiday weekend, Jeff, has come and it's gone. We had some nice weather today, right? Not quite. There's like two hours. Oh, just a little left. bit. I guess everybody's getting ready to get back into the, just kind of going, back into oh, the swing of things uh, tomorrow. <laughs> no, it, it was nice because, you know, uh, Saturday was really hot. Yeah. And, and Sunday was really wet. It was a gloomy day. And then finally we, we got some sunshine. Yeah. And, and it was a nice day. Not only that, it, the humidity was low, which is an extra little gift with that blue sky we enjoyed during the afternoon hours, at least. Satellite radar review. Not a lot of cloud cover across most. Of North Texas, but notice down in Anderson County, down in Palestine, we're seeing a little bit of a shower activity. That's not going to move much out of Anderson County. It's a long stationary front. It certainly won't move its way up towards the Metroplex. We do expect some fog pretty much south of the metro area. That's where the humidity has been higher. And along that front, there might be a, a thunderstorm or two. We see one developing. That might be just it for the overnight hours. The other thing you need to know about for your Tuesday, the start of the short work week for many, there's an Ozone Action Alert Day, and what that means is that we expect high ozone counts during the afternoon. So, if you suffer from lung disease or have any respiratory illnesses, you should stay inside during the afternoon hours because that's when the counts will be the highest. So, tomorrow morning, yes, yeah, some patchy fog. This is going to be down to the south, as well as the cloud cover and maybe a little bit of shower activity. Temperatures are going to start into the upper 60s for your Tuesday, and you can get out and enjoy the day tomorrow. We're going to have a, a little bit of a warm day. We'll be near 90 degrees, it's certainly in the upper 80s. This front, it will be the focus. Mechanism for some thunderstorm activity. I will generously call it a 20% chance. It's probably closer to 10% coverage and mostly down to the south along this front. Now, on Wednesday, we'll have a slightly better chance for an afternoon thunderstorm. And some of these could be strong. They'll be out to the west, the strong ones. This is on Wednesday. We'll have higher humidity, by the way, as this front will finally start to get close to the Metroplex to bring us at least uh, more like a summer like humidity. But the strong thunderstorms could be as far west as Breckenridge and over into Erath County in the afternoon hours. Uh, the, the best rain we had all month long was yesterday. That was 1,700 inch rain. But this has been a month bereft of any big rains. We are almost four inches short for the month. We've only had five inches of rain for spring. We're six inches short for spring. This is the fourth driest May on record and the sixth driest spring. I bring that to your attention. Because look how summer starts, June 1st. We have this system coming in, and this is a pretty good rain chance. It's going to be here, the best chance, on Thursday. A 60% chance of rain and thunderstorms, sometimes heavy rain and slightly cooler temperatures. But look at that, Ken, 40% chance of rain and thunderstorms Friday and Saturday.